Leaves are changing colors, collecting when they hit the ground. I don't think fall would be quite as pretty if you were around. Nights are getting cold, a lot of fire won't you hold me dear. She's drinking coconut water. I like coconut water. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Martin. I'm Shelly. And uh, we're down here uh, getting ready. Actually, we're just completing week number 140 since we moved <laughs> down on here. She's She laughs every time I say that, but I've been kind of keep track of it in a journal. So I know it's week number 140 and it's day number 982 that oh. we've, since, since we closed on this property and moved down here. And you gotta remember, we were, how old were we? We were, I was 60. I was 62. Two. Yeah. When we moved down here. So we started this whole thing from raw land in our 60s and uh and it's no turning back i mean we're, we're loving every minute oh it. yeah it it is good other than uh being awakened in the middle of the night by raccoons yeah there was one on the deck last night <laughs> yeah getting into the hummingbird feeders yeah <laughs> <laughs> and again earlier this week we caught a skunk in a live trap trying oh, to catch the raccoons and I'm... we caught a skunk and that was an experience yeah <laughs> i had <laughs> Part, parts of me smelled a little skunky there for a, <laughs> for a little while. So I tried to stay away from him as much as I could. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, what we're going to be talking about this week and showing you is uh, we, we've, you know, we always give this advice, or I do anyway, when people ask, you know, what do you do when you start a homestead project like this? And I, and I always say, don't try to do everything at once. Seems like that's what we did. <laughs> and we are the worst when it comes to trying to do everything at once. And uh, and so this past week, we have, okay, three weeks ago, I got um, all of the supplies to run the electrical uh, wires from the panels down to the, to the solar plant uh, stuff. Still haven't got that done. <laughs> and because something else came up, I mean, what else came up? We ordered, um, if we ordered the freeze dryer. Oh yeah, that's right. And that came in, uh, late last week. And so we couldn't stand it. We had to go try that. And we've got a batch of sliced strawberries coming out of there yeah. today. In just a few minutes, we're going to take you up and show you that. And what else did we do? Oh, we got the, the flagpole set up in the oh, garden. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, uh, oh and I gotta say, he wanted morning glories planted yeah. around the fence <sighs> on the one side that wasn't deer proofed. And I thought, oh, I shouldn't be doing this, but oh well, he wants it. So I took a lot of my time. I grew these morning glories in the greenhouse, planted them, and the very next day, there was holes all over where the morning glories were. Yeah. So I said, we're gonna keep them in the deer. I thought surely the deer wouldn't bother morning glories, would they? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it was deer. I mean, well, I maybe rabbits, I suppose. No, they um, dug a hole. I don't know oh, what they were after. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe oh, they were after the morning glories. Well, they were didn't find the morning there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, we also I uh, got the, got the supplies to start building hydroponics. So. Um, yeah. We're gonna, I didn't get very far into that, but uh, but but we did do a little bit of that. Now I've got the rest of the supplies to do that. Hopefully I'll be able to get at that this week. So anyway, um, you know, I want to encourage you, or we want to encourage you, that uh, if, if going back to the land is a dream of yours, um, don't give up on your dream. Yeah. Um, I had uh, I did a little article this morning on one of our cucumber plants up there that sent a runner out about that far to grab onto a wire and hang on for dear life and uh, and it reminded me you know don't hold on tight you know don't give up on your dream so if uh, if it's something that uh, that you're dreaming about doing um, you know we hope that that seeing us go through the process that we're doing on our videos down here at our place uh, helps encourage you that you know not everything goes right all the time. A lot of things do go right all the time, and but regardless of whether it's uh, whether you have a good experience or a or occasionally a bad experience like the skunk, um, it all adds up to good memories, and uh, and and to us it's, it's worth doing. Yeah. Right? I'm, oh, and then yesterday, uh, don't forget. I mean, we had another interruption um, in the middle of our freeze drying uh, work. 
um, the the building that we had the freeze dryer in was getting way too warm in there. Oh, and, uh, yeah. And so we had to stop everything else and, and uh, install an air conditioner. And so yeah. um, it's in the same building where we have most of our, our solar inverter stuff. And so, so the freeze dryer does put out some heat. Yeah. And it it says that you shouldn't have an end to certain temperature. And so we yeah. had to take it care of that. It will tell you when it's too warm. <laughs> it says it's too warm. So. <laughs> All right. Now I'm being I'm, I'm being bossed around by a freeze dryer now too. So. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go take a look at a bunch of this stuff and yeah. things that are happening around here. We'll be back here uh, to wrap it all up when uh, when we're done. Yeah. Stealing all their leaves, all they love naked except for some snow. We're building man that soon will melt and be forgotten, but we can't, we can't forget these times. It's a mess in here from all the work I was doing in here yesterday. So, first thing we need to do is turn it off. Turn it off. Uh, no defrost, I think. On uh, no defrost? Yeah. Okay. It's off. Okay, <laughs> now I have to do this. Yeah, do it slowly. I'm telling you that until you release the vacuum on that vacuum chamber, you will not get that door open. <laughs> okay, you should be able to open it now. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see what we got. Pull the cubes out first. Cubes? Oh. Oh. These are blueberry cubes. Interesting. Very lightweight. Are they dry? <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> we got a lot of flavor. Boy. That's for sure. Mm. I'm going to try one of these. Let me see what these are like. These are not dry all the way. No. Nope. All right. Hmm. That's okay. We'll put those back in. Go ahead and slide them back in. Strawberries are good to come out. So when you order uh, a Harvest Right freeze dryer, you'll end up getting the number of trays that you have for the size of the freeze dryer um, that'll match up and fit with that. They also send the oil premium pump, uh, the impulse sealer, 50 uh, mylar bags and 50 oxygen absorbers. And was there anything else? It seemed like there was other things too, but that's the main things anyway. So we're getting ready to, we're going to put most of this in mylar bags. We're going to put some of it in a mason jar. Uh, that'll mainly be the things that the grandkids get into, I think. And we'll probably have them polished off today. <laughs> we'll see what they do. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so we have not had this open yet. There's the book. Let's find out what we're supposed to do.
regains its confidence and lets the birds come out to sing. Greeted in all the flowers and the trees back in time for the spring. Oh, I'll grab my boots and darling, take my hand and we'll go for a walk and be gone for some time. So what did you think of all of that? <laughs> What's your favorite part of what we did this week? Well, you know, I kind of like the way that the freeze dryer is working because I really have wanted to have one of them and to preserve the food and not have it always in the freezer is a good thing for me because it's too much stuff in there and I'm like, ah. Oh. Yeah, we got so. two freezers and they're just full. And so. yeah, oh. it just happens. Yeah, but. and supposedly, I mean, I'm I'm not the authority in this, but everybody says, and all of the literature says that um, that the food retains um, most of its nutritional content. Mm -hmm. what they say, mm -hmm. and it's a lot lighter, so it's easy to store. Um, you know, we're going to be. Uh, I think I'm going to take the the mylar bags, and once we get things, you know, punch a hole in the top of the hole punch, and just hang them on. What do you call those things? Those racks. The, oh. <laughs> The pegboard. Yeah, peg that's boards. it. <laughs> it's been oh, a long week, hasn't boy. it? Oh, <laughs> boy. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Uh, the name of the channel is The Campfire Trail. And um, remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Yep. And. Oh, yeah. Here's to having an excellent adventure. And may the stopping never start. <laughs> Here we go. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. See you next time.